Hi, good morning. Yes, we'll have a very special interview. I mean, if you're a Goofy fan and you are sitting at home on the couch right now, uh, listen up, because I have Bill Farmer, who is the voice of Goofy, amongst many other characters, but you're best known for Goofy. You're wearing your Goofy tie oh, yeah. this morning. Are you going to do the whole interview in the Goofy voice? Uh, I'll, I'll do it. I actually, Bill's smarter than Goofy, so, of course, but I can bring him in, and <laughs> he can hear, be here for a while. <laughs> I love it. This is making me so happy. Okay, Bill, tell us about this Comic-Con Museum and the new exhibit here. What were your first thoughts when you walked in? Well, I hadn't seen it till earlier today. My friend Troy Carlson put this all together, and it's probably the most interactive exhibit that I've ever seen about how animation is done behind the scenes. Everything from the history of animation back to the early 1900s, where they just did paper cutouts and then photographed it and put it together into a little uh, story, to all of the animated features that they have today. This takes you through the whole history of animation and what it goes in, what goes into it, including voice acting. What? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to keep a serious face here. Uh, what's it like to be the man and the voice behind Goofy? I mean, what's your life like? Well, it's uh, it's kind of interesting. Goofy's famous. I'm not. So that's okay. I can kind of turn it on and off at will. So that uh, is a nice feature of it. But it's a lot of fun because the voice acting is done first before there's any animation done. A lot of people don't know that. They think we're looking at a cartoon and we aren't. It's a script. In a micro and a microphone, and I do this in my house during COVID. I have my own studio at my house, so I don't even have to go into the studios to record a new cartoon. And uh, it's nice because as we all get older, we would change, and most people's career doesn't last that long. But after 36 years, I'm still providing the voice for the uh, Disney character Goofy and Pluto and many others. So you're well, not with, stuck with one. With all of those different characters, do you have a favorite? Well, uh, of course, Goofy got me going in the animation industry. He was number one, but I love doing Pluto and whoa, which I can do in all languages, you know, and German, whoa, you know, <laughs> and Spanish, whoa. I can do any language with Pluto. And uh, more recent ones, uh, I have a show called Amphibia that I have on Disney Plus where I I'm doing an old frog named Hop Pop. And I love doing that because I got to come up with a voice, whereas Goofy has been around since 1932, so I was stepping into some rather large shoes. All right, well, do you want to take a walk with yeah. us and walk us through this whole exhibit? Yes, here we are at the From Pencils to Pixels, the story of animation. And uh, this is a fantastic exhibit. It has everything from Gertie the Dinosaur, one of the very first cartoons from, like, I think 1903. Um, and they have some vintage foot, uh, photographs and films from that era. And over here they have some, uh, some others, early, early things that the early pioneers were trying to come up with and great artists that are shown animating their creations and then putting it on film. And this is what in the early 1900s people were watching in the, the uh, uh, movie theaters. And now... They have a rotoscoping, different, uh, there's like a little Popeye cartoon, a peep show. You turn the crank and you see the cartoon. That goes back to the early 1900s, kind of an early uh, type of uh, animation. Over here's uh, what's called a, a zoetrope, which I voiced the, uh, the uh, narration on this. And this is the world's largest traveling zoetrope. And you can actually... It goes off every five minutes, oh, it so does. It it's got go three minutes now, to go. But if you see this, there's a strobe light, and it brings this thing to life, and all of the characters move fluidly, and it doesn't look like that now because we're just seeing it in a regular light, but when it gets that strobe light going, it becomes animated. Very, very cool. Okay, well, I'm going to go back out here to the very front because, Bill, I have a couple more questions for you as we make our way throughout this whole exhibit. You've been a lot of different characters yes. and voiced a lot of different characters. Besides all of those, do you have a favorite 
character that you weren't a part of or cartoon? Oh, of course. I knew uh, most all of the greats, uh, June Ferre, Dawes Butler, Stan Freeberg, all of these great animators and uh, voice actors from the past. Met Mel Blanc before he passed away back when we were doing the movie Roger Rabbit. And, of course, he was probably the idol of everybody in voice animation today. It comes from Mel Blanc's voices with Bugs and Daffy and Foghorn and all the other Warner Brothers characters. Um, gosh, there's always, I just like to work. It's just fun. It's the most fun job you can imagine. How long can you continue doing this, the voiceovers for Goofy and all of these other characters? I'm going to do it until Goofy sounds like, oh, yuck, howdy there, Vicky. I'll do it as long as they let me. Do you have a favorite Goofy line? Gorge from a Goofy movie. Maybe it's uh, when he wakes up and how many cups of sugar does it take to get to the moon? And Max's son's uh, three and a half and he <laughs> goes back to sleep. <laughs> Well, Bill, it's honestly, it's been a pleasure to meet you, and thank you so much for having fun with us on Good Morning San Diego. You are going to be here tonight, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, there's a big opening, so come on out. It's a Balboa Park Animation Museum here and a Comic-Con Museum, and I go to Comic-Cons all over the country, so I hope to see everybody out well, here tonight. Absolutely, Bill. Thank you so much. And one of my favorite things that I overheard Bill say when I first walked in, uh, he was talking to some folks. He goes, hey, I've been on TV for 36 years, and no one knows who I am. That's okay. Goofy's famous. I'm not. <laughs> I think you're a little famous, Bill. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, Paul, Laura, and I will send things back over to you. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. What an amazing career. Great Isn't interview, that incredible? Oh my gosh, and and he gets the best of both worlds, right? Yeah. He gets to be famous, but not <laughs> in his body, which I... Right. <laughs> Has he ever, Casey, yes. like, let out a, a, a laugh or, I don't know, something? Has anybody ever picked up his voice out in public and said, hey... You're goofy. He sounds Ooh. familiar. Okay, so I know that, Bill, you told me that you don't get recognized when you go out places, but has yeah. anyone ever recognized your voice and say, hey, you kind of sound familiar, kind of sound like Goofy? Happen. Yeah, or occasionally at Disneyland, if I see, a, I'm standing in line for one of the rides, and some kid's on his dad's shoulder, and he's kind of weeping. Sometimes I'll go, gorge, <laughs> and they look around, and they don't know where that came from. I heard Goofy, and ah, go to sleep. They're making up things. That's a fu that's oh funny. You just made Paul Rudy snort. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad wow. I could bring out a snort. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a talent! Wow. I love Goofy's. Well, little thank you for that. Borscht. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks, Casey, and thank.